We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region. Crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up.
feeling about this. Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. You don't survive on the rim as long as I have without knowing when trouble's coming. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me, when it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. What is it? Why are we stopping? I know we need to get out of here. Like I said, it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow. Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, alright? joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sent you my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps. We shall see. Uh. 
What's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Huh? How do you know that? Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if Sleeps with Vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. 